Greetings, citizens of Nerdtropolis. Sean Todge here, the mayor of Nerdtropolis, and on this episode of Real Insights, my guest is Paul Feig, the director of the Prime Video movie Jackpot. Hey, Sean. Mr. Paul Feig, it's such a pleasure to meet you. It's so nice to meet you, too. Awesome t-shirt. I think that's hilarious that you guys did that. <laughs> thank you. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to thank you for Freaks and Geeks. I wouldn't be here without that show, honestly. And my oh. favorite acting performance of yours to this day is still in Heavyweights, which I have watched <laughs> hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. I... I don't know. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. I, it's a feel-good movie for me, but Thank I absolutely you. loved it. And Thank I you. also love Jackpot. It's a full-throttle, high-stakes comedy with tons of hilarity and heart. And who knew that John Cena and Aquafina would make such a fantastic comedic duo? I know. I'm telling you, they are the new comedy supergroup, uh, and, and just so much fun to work with. Two of the most delightful people in the world. I'm telling you, and that, that's not showbiz talk. This is actual human being talk. <laughs> Yeah, they have proved it that they are the best in the business. And you've had an incredible journey in comedy, especially behind the camera. How did your evolution as a filmmaker and your unique approach to comedy influence your direction on Jackpot? And what new dimensions did you want to explore with the diverse cast and the fun story? Thanks. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm always working towards how far can we push comedy, um, you know, while still keeping it real. And as long as you've got grounded characters, who characters, even if they're not so much grounded, but they're they can be extreme, but they still exist in their own reality, and and we don't think that they're just fake. I think you can go pretty far, and I feel like every movie I get a chance to push characters a little bit further to see where we go to the edge, but don't break the audience's belief in them. And this story, since it's so extreme, the whole setting of Jackpot is so extreme, I felt like we're taking such an extreme world, let's put these characters and kind of ground them a little bit more so that you're just, you're living through them of like how crazy everything is around them. So, you know, Nora's a very, Katie, who Nora plays, is a very grounded person who's just so in over her head. And I love the idea that John Cena is coming in as this very sweet, earnest guy who's who's trying to get her through but who doesn't want to hurt other people and I think you know I think when I was reading the script and when he puts the helmet on somebody before he throws them out of the car and he's like she's like, what was that and he's like I'm not gonna throw somebody out of a moving car without a helmet I'm not a monster and I was like I love this character because he actually just needs to do his job and he's not gonna you know cause harm if he can I'm just cracking up here with that scene. It's it's brilliant. It's really funny. So I need to ask, you know, how much did John Cena surprise you with his comedic talents? I feel like he's had a lot of opportunities lately, but he keeps just wow, wow, wow. And yeah, how was it like on set with him as well? It's great. I mean, I knew he was funny from the other things I've seen him in, but I didn't realize how, how like intrinsically funny the man is, you know, because he just, he gets it and he's very professional and he comes in very strategic with how he does it, but then he allows himself to l be loose at the same time and be open to everything. And he doesn't, he doesn't know the word no. Like, you know, whatever you pitch him, sometimes you're worried, like, especially with somebody like him who has like an image to uphold, you're like, okay, they're gonna say no, that's too silly or whatever. But the first time I, first time I ever talked to John was on a Zoom when I was getting ready to do this. And he said, the first thing he said was, don't think you have to make me look cool. And I was just like, that's the greatest thing a comedy director could hear. <laughs> and and we didn't. <laughs> Love that. I have to ask last, what's the last time you played the lottery? <laughs> I, I'm not a lottery guy for some reason. I just, I'm never drawn to do it. I think maybe I, at certain, one point in my life I had a bit of a gambling problem, and so I think maybe I just avoid it. But more than that, I just think it's... It's just too random, you know. I, I'd rather go to Vegas and, you know, play blackjack and at least control my destiny a little bit. Love that. Uh, once again, thank you so much for the decades of entertainment and such a pleasure once again to chat with you. And until next time. Yeah, yeah thanks so much. I can't wait. Appreciate it. Once again, this is Sean Taj, the mayor of Nertropolis, and stay tuned for more movie news, reviews, interviews, and trailers.